Hi, this is Thomas, one of the advisors in the BCOE Advising Office, and this video is to help you with course planning. One of the things that we want you to be able to know is how to plan for your courses, and let's get started by looking at first the Student Affairs webpage. We have our webpage and the email address is up here in the bar, student.engr.ucr.edu. And under requirements, you can click on majors where you will find the list of the suggested course plans. And these are here for you. And if you're on an older version, you can see the past suggested course plans are towards the bottom. When you're here, I'm gonna use computer engineering as an example. The course plan pops up for you in a printable format for you to be able to print if you want or save, you can download this to your desktop or laptop, whatever you're using. And I want you to be able to see how to utilize the course plan. And then I'm also going to reference the degree out in our web. First, the course plan is organized in two ways. First, classes are listed in the term they are offered. Most of the time we've been able to list for you a class, for example, a CS10A, CS61, these courses are listed in the fall. That is the primary course offering for these classes. They're offered multiple times for a lot of the lower division classes, but we list them for you in the term that it's offered primarily. Courses are listed throughout the year and we put them in the terms that you'll be able to find them in a primary offering. Another way that the course plan here is organized for you is that we've built in and listed courses in the prerequisite sequencing you need to take. So 10A, the prerequisites of going into 10B and so forth. You'll be able to find these classes as you go through them. Now, as a new student or a transfer student or somebody who's been in the program for a while, you'll be able to use this kind of like a checklist. Go through and check off or cross out classes that you've completed or that you're currently enrolled in to be able to see what comes next in the sequencing. Again, your sequence should be fall quarter, first year, winter quarter, spring quarter, and then on to the second year, and then on to the third year. You'll be able to use this in conjunction with your degree audit. If you go to our web and log in and click on degree audit, you'll see the different parts that show classes that look like this. You have sections that are showing in red, green, and blue. Something in blue is a course that you're currently enrolled in. Courses that are green check marked are classes that have been completed. And then anything that's in red, you can see that here and here, where they're still needed for you to be able to plan for. You should be able to use your degree audit and the course plan kind of like a check and balance. You can be able to use both of them to know what comes next using the course plan and then double checking what's left for you still in the degree audit. The degree audit is organized by different sections. You've got breadth requirements, lower division, upper division, major specific classes as well. In the example I'm showing you, you can see this course here, ENGR 001G. It is hyperlinked, and if you were able to click on this in your degree audit, it'll open up a pop-up window and give you the information about the class from the catalog at UCR. Specifically, you'll be able to read the prerequisites listed. Now, I want you to understand that you can use both your degree audit and the course plan for course planning. Remember, the course plan, the suggested course plan is organized by when courses are offered, as well as the prerequisite sequencing. The other best resource you can use is your advisor. You're always welcome to check in with your assigned academic advisor by email, um, being that we're available to you however we can. Um, hopefully you can get uh, all of your questions answered and know how to course plan classes.